All right, guys, welcome back. So SQQ, the swing position, this is the second video on the position showing a cost basis of $17.72. We have 120 shares. We are up 1.25% for 26 bones. So a $2,100 investment, $17.50 a share. And as you can see, we're still holding pretty strong, but let's look at the chart. Let's break it down. QQQ has definitely been a little bit more bullish today, so we'll see how the rest of the week goes. But we're sticking to the thesis. We're gonna hold this SQQ position until the end of September and see if the market really does go down during this month, because history shows it usually does. All right, so taking a look at the SQQ chart, we're at 1776. This is the last three months. We had the high of 2148, and now, we've sold off all the way down from 2148 back down 17%. So we're keeping an eye on this. The last couple of days, it was bullish, but now it's really pulled back dramatically. Look at 19.53 was the high, all the way down to 17.26, so 11% drawback. So that means QQQ went back at least 3.5% because it's 3X, triple X. Every time you trade these SQQQ, it does three times what the QQQ does. So what I'm looking for is I want to see if it's going to hold this low at 17.3. And we're going to see if we can potentially get a move back up. But look at QQQ real quick. On QQQ, just in the five-day chart, we are trading in this range right here from 381 to 373. So we're oscillating. We'll see if QQQ will struggle. Playing right against here, as you can see, there is clear resistance right here in this whole area, this area right here, this area right here, this area right here, and then notice what you saw today. You saw some clear resistance here. So let's see tomorrow if QQQ can push up from 378 past 379 and then make its move back up to about 381, which would be a you know only a 0.5% move from there. If it can get past that, then we are pretty much looking at all-time highs because there's not much resistance after that. Let's get rid of these lines, make it a little cleaner for you guys. If we can break this level at 380, I don't see how QQQ is not going to retest the high of up to 388, which is another 2% move, which means SQQ will be down 6%. If it does make that move, I have planned to buy more SQQ. I'm going to buy more around the 16.4. You have to account for decay, so it might not be exactly 16.4. But if it comes down from there all the way down to 16.38, it's a 7% drop. And then we'll be planning on adding another 100 shares from there. We're at 120 shares. We'll add another 120 shares there. So my cost basis from $17.50, buying it at 16.4. We'll be near, you know, 16.8, 16.9. All right, guys, that's the update on my SQQ position. Check out my channel, Trading Simplified. Check out my other videos on Fidelity Active Trader Pro and my SQQ original swing trade that you can check out as well.